So now we're on physics part two and we are looking at questions where we move from one depth to another depth. It is a little bit more complicated, but it's not much more complicated. We can still use the three-step process that you got familiar with when you did physics part one. We just have to do the three-step process twice. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to take the object given to us at its first depth and calculate what it will be at the surface. We're then going to take the object from the surface down to the second depth. The answers are in liters, so we look for liters in the question, and we find nine. So under step one, we put nine liters, all very familiar so far. Now we think about multiply or divide. What are we thinking about? Well, what will happen to this object when we take it up from the first depth to the second depth? It's a balloon, it's going up, it's going to get bigger, so we multiply. Step three, we need to find the first depth, the starting depth. The question shows us the starting depth is 20 meters. The pressure at 20 meters is at three atmospheres, so three is what goes in step three and we now find that it's 27 is the answer to round one of the three-step process. So 27 liters would be the volume of that balloon at the surface. Let's take that 27 and fill it in as the first step in round two of the three-step process. So now we've got a balloon with a volume of 27 liters at the surface what would happen to that balloon when we take it down to the second depth? It's going down, it's a balloon, it's going to get smaller, we divide. What do we divide by? What is the second depth? 10 meters. What's the pressure at 10 meters? Two atmospheres. 27 divided by 2 is our answer. It's 13.5 liters, which is answer B. You can find a lot more videos, study notes, practice questions at my website www.goprocaribbean.com slash dive theory. It makes way more sense to use the website to guide you through these videos than randomly select them from YouTube or Facebook. And you may also want to like my Facebook page, GoPro Caribbean in order to be able to find out what my latest video releases are and subscribe to